Hi everyone, welcome to Simeo Art. Today I'm going to show you how to create these bubbles using Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to go to create new document and we're going to create a new document. And this canvas is going to be a print type. And the dimensions for this, we're going to use uh, pixels. So we're going to choose, let me see, um, 1280 by around uh, 720. So let's write in here, our width is going to be 1280 uh, to 720, which is kind of standard, especially if you're using pixels. And we're gonna go ahead and click create. And this is our new canvas. So in this canvas, we're going to choose a form, which is going to be uh, a square at first. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and draw, actually a rectangle, we're going to go ahead and draw a rectangle and we're going to give it a fill color of blue, a little bit dark blue. Uh, that should be able to work. So we give it a fill of a dark blue. Now our second form is going to be a sphere. So we're going to go ahead and create an ellipse. Make sure you press down shift in order for you to have a perfect round circle or a perfect sphere. We're going to go ahead and give it a, a fill color which is going to be a lighter blue. Uh, you could always use different colors, but I suggest that you use the same color. We're going to take away um, the stroke so we don't have the black line around our uh, spheres for the bubbles. And we're going to copy that and we're going to go ahead and paste it. So now we will reduce its color to a smaller, uh, I mean, its size to a smaller size, really small. And we're going to put it at top, on the top of the first sphere that we created. Now we need a third sphere. So we're going to go ahead and copy that small one. Uh, but before we do that, let's adjust its color to a brighter, way brighter blue, uh, almost close to white. We're going to give it that color. Now we can copy it and uh, paste it into our document because we need three spheres. This one we're going to make even smaller and then we're going to move it to the bottom part of the first sphere that we created. So now we have three spheres. Go to your sphere number two and sphere number three and select both of them by clicking on them while you're holding down the shift key. All right. So now you've selected both of them. We're going to go ahead and blend them. So go to object and select blend and click Mac. So now you can see it's not two spheres anymore, but it's just one sphere that is blended and then the little one that we have at the bottom. So you're going to go ahead in the properties panel with both spheres selected, the first one and the second one, and we're going to reduce the opacity to about 70 to 73%. And you can see that is starting to look really good. We're going to go ahead and select the third sphere too and make sure that we reduce its opacity to about the same to to about 72 or 73 percent so now that that is done we're going to go ahead and uh, select the entire composition the three which are now to the two spheres now by pressing down the shift and clicking on both of them and we're going to copy them and paste them into our document so you can see now we have two compositions here and we're going to reduce the second one uh, to a smaller sphere and make them touch just a little bit in order to create the bubble effect. And now you can do this over and over again, but putting in mind the design principles of space placement and size in order for you to create uh, the bubble design that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit uh, while I create my design and then I'll come back later on after the speed up to show you guys what the final artwork is going to be looking like but this is what I have for now So after speeding up, you can see the final artwork that I've created. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see it. And that's how you do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next video.
Bye-bye for now.